small communities have great pride in what they do. And I think Vernon is a prime example of that. They've got a rich history and just good down to earth people that have lived there for generations like many small towns all over our country. A lot of the economy is agriculture based in the Wagner Ranch. It's one of the biggest ranches in, in the world. It's, uh, it's always been active in the community culture. It's very important to the people that we keep recognizing that ranching heritage and the people who actually have made their livelihood on the ranches and, and the farming community in this area. I think our heyday, our population has been about 12, 13,000. Downtown has been booming. Uh, and of course now um, rural communities have, have uh, lost population except for Vernon because we are trending up. I think we're thriving. The Wichita Art Alliance came to us and said, we want to partner with the city of Vernon to put some murals in town. At first I thought, well, you know, that's going to be good because it'll help re revitalize downtown and maybe clean it up a little bit and maybe it'll bring in some new industry, but it's done a little bit more than that. It's brought um, some interest to the community that I didn't realize. The mural project with the Roy Orbison mural and with the Harvey Dean mural, I think in very different ways, it just shines a light on Vernon and says, we're a multifaceted community. We may not be big, but we're mighty. And that's what creative work does. It taps into the core of people. It doesn't have to be elaborate. It doesn't have to be expensive. What it needs to be is inclusive. I don't think that we could have picked a better selection of murals for our first three. Roy Orbison being our first, he's very well known. Roy Orbison is, is like the favored son there. And when you pull off the freeway and drive a few blocks toward downtown, you can't miss it. I mean, it is the, the side of the entire building. People in Vernon drive past it and they think, he's ours. And there's a sense of pride. My heart is with the Harvey Dean mural. I knew Harvey Dean. I would come downtown with my grandmother to get tamales. And if Harvey Dean wasn't on the corner, we would drive until we found Harvey. And I hate to admit this, but I could eat a dozen tamales by myself. They were so good. And the history of Harvey Dean, a black man that put four kids through college, selling tamales. It's one of my favorites because it's an average person and it just shows what you can do with a little bit of help and with a little bit of perseverance. I just like the message that that particular uh, mural tells. It was an honor to work on this mural. Mr. Dean was definitely a, a very successful and a very um, important person in the community. I'm not from Texas, but when I think of what it would have been like for him in any of the other small communities around at the time that he lived here, I thought, I think that he definitely achieved really great things. This was my first mural and so coming out here it was it was a little scary at first but then uh, once we got started it was pretty smooth. I was I felt very welcomed by the community. I had a lot of people stop by. I hope that somehow we can figure out a way to take these stories from the smaller communities and and help people in larger cities understand them too. I think by listening to each other's stories we realize that we have more in common than we think. One thing that I've noticed is we have a ton of artists in Vernon. Um, after the Harvey Dean mural was finished, we had people coming forward saying, I want to do this mural, I want to do that mural, but they didn't have the mural experience. So um, we contacted Selena Mize, which had done our Roy Orbison mural, and said, would you be willing to do another mural in Vernon? Um, to highlight our hibiscus and teach local artists the process as you complete that mural. So she pulled in three of our local artists and they helped with that. Now those artists are hosting camps for youth. There's even an art display at 
Red River Valley Museum featuring the State Hospital's art program. So it's just increased participation in arts and in other things. I mean, we had a wine walk this year and it included an art walk in it. And we had over 100 pieces of art to display. I mean, it's just, it's amazing that we're able to bring even more people together and give artists a platform that they didn't have in Vernon before. I think people are beginning to see where things like beautiful murals are actually art and they can represent history and they can bring communities to life. It's a vibrancy. It's like taking a town that's been operating in black and white for 40 years because it hasn't grown, businesses have moved away, people have moved away, and it's putting the color back in these small towns and renewing the pride that they had. I really wasn't that thrilled about the project. I thought, well, here you're, you're going to have a picture on the wall and it'll be nice and people will drive through town, but I don't see how that how that's going to change the world, but it kind of does. It builds on itself. Once you put that first mural in, people want to start cleaning up their building. They want to know what they can do to their building or what they can bring into the community to add to what you've done. And so it's it's kind of like a rhythmic progression. You start with that one piece piece of art, and then you'll have other people wanting to put murals on their walls and you want to, you'll have other people wanting to paint their buildings and so it all builds upon itself. These murals have been important because I think it's just brought our community together. There's still work to be done. I don't want to say this and people think that we've fixed all problems, but I feel like prior to the murals, we had more of a divide between generations. Um, between races and this brought people together you know before we when we had a wine walk or an event downtown it was our middle-aged group coming and now we have young adults kids seniors they're all coming together well, let, let me say this as an administrator some of the first things that we look at cutting sometimes when money gets tight is the arts and it's probably one of the, the things that we ought to keep, but we don't tend to do that because it's easy to cut and people don't notice when you're cutting back on that. But that art means so much to people in quality of life that you don't really realize it until it's not there. The Alliance found a way to tap into those things that sparked great pride in that community and amplify them in a way that has drawn pride and excitement and has really made Vernon a um, kind of a get off the freeway and let's look around point uh, in, our, in our area. People are actually coming to Vernon to see these murals. I've seen little children come up and, and they look at it and they act like they're playing the guitar. I've had people call me, literally call me and say, hey Pam, I'm coming to Vernon. Now where are the murals located? So it's brought attention to Vernon. It's brought excitement to Vernon. I think it's energized our downtown. What people ought to know about Vernon is it's made up a bunch of good people. What makes small towns uh, unique, I think, um, is their ability to take care of each other. Um, I, can, I get emotional thinking about that, but people truly are a family, um, whether it's through blood or not. Neighbors are family and we look out for each other. So much of history, I think, is is shared verbally. I mean, there's innumerable books and movies and all things like that. And, but it's also in, in just the stories that are shared from generation to generation. And I think that happens a lot in smaller towns. I worry that it's dying. But I think when we slow down and we take the time to talk about our history and why things are the way they are and and how the town formed and why it formed and and who was there we're all responsible for helping take our communities to the next level we can't always look back but we can take the lessons that we learn from the past and we can use them to move our communities forward and i think that's going to be instrumental in the survival of small communities I just want more to come. Let's have 
painting a paint studio where we have classes year round, not just in the summer. I once was a teacher and I always told my kids, I want you to try to have goals, but I also want you to strive for something that you don't even know is possible for you. I guess that's what I try to live in this job is I'm, I'm striving for something that I don't know is there, just something better.